That is so cool. Plane spotting right here in Passai. Got a view of the runway. Bye bye. Streets of the clouds, stretch us along it. Whoosh. Welcome to Citizens Bay City Manila. Uh, I just spontaneously booked this online and I'm happy I did because in my opinion this is probably the nicest for value I have ever seen in Passai, at least in my experiences. Nice place, only I think four years old. Uh, the view to the airport is awesome. Check out the room. So nice. Another window. Looking out to plain spot. Yeah, uh, and I already talked to the staff downstairs just randomly. There's a guy named James, super friendly from Dumaguete, Bisaya. I'm in Manila. I have things I need to do, and I have something I need to prepare for. Uh, and I'm also going to be editing and working, and what a great place to do that. So yeah, just wanted to share that with you, in case you're wondering. This is Citadines, just near Mala Asia, but a few blocks away. Great location, looking for more planes. Welcome to Manila. Let's do this. One of the coolest things about being in Manila is because I can speak Visaya, people who are Visaya, I just instantly connect with them. And earlier when I checked in, there was a guy named James who was super cool and he makes coffee at a super cool coffee machine that's just down in the main area of this place. So I just want you to quickly meet him and we need a coffee and do a bit of work in the main lobby. Yes, man. Dude, you got all the tassa, man. Yes. Alright, this is James. So, Ganina Mokstoria. Dewey, thank you so much, man. Dumagadi. Dewey, Dewey. Pilika, Pilika, Dewey, Dewey. Four years now, four years. Four years. And, asa Dewey, no bonsa sawa and anak? Meron, kaumban. Sigab, and Joy. Cool. Nasa Malibay, Pasay. Ah, yes, now. He's been in Buhi Buhi mode, he works and yeah. uh, you know, doing his thing. Finding Kamot Lam. But earlier when I when I was down here, uh, is this just like a little coffee extension of the lobby? Or is this like a coffee shop or just like a thing for people who come here? Or? Yeah, it's a nice, uh, complimentary coffee for especially the new guests, the VIP guests. Uh, so just anyway, okay cool. So it's like a complimentary coffee area and James rocks it. <laughs> so check out this machine and watch James make a coffee. Whatever you want to make man, you go for it bro. So in the meantime, while James is rocking that, uh, seriously, the main lobby here, this place is super legit, like, super beautiful, right there. Yeah, my colleague's Jack. Oh, I'll come, you wanna go check him out? I can say hey. I don't wanna, do, actually, I don't wanna disturb him, they're working, man. What's up, man? Yeah. How you doing, man? good, too. Nice to meet you. Tagalog or Bisaya? Okay, nice. Take us, Anka. Uh, I'm from Bulacan. Ah, nice. Okay, we can teach him Bisaya Pohan, James. Yeah, I'm gonna teach him uh, Bisaya language. Thank you. But uh, we promise, we promise, we won't teach you any Bastos, okay? No, no, no. no, 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 no. no. Salik lang, salik lang. Salik lang. <laughs> salik lang. <laughs> nice one. And that's the coffee shop thing right there. So cool. Rain has come, but I'm prepared. I got my favorite coat on. Welcome to Passai. And this area, I believe, all around me is reclaimed land. Uh, the hotel's to my right. And then you'll notice too, what I think are a lot of kind of residences and apartment buildings kicking around. 
there's a lot of casinos here actually big massive hotels a uh, little bit of Chinese influence some of the side roads you see a lot of Chinese restaurants and yeah obviously just up and over only a block away Mall of Asia and I, what I believe is the biggest mall in the Philippines um, yeah I guess I'm just gonna go do a few errands and buy a few things but tomorrow we're gonna meet up with Therene and I have something very very important I need to buy so from Pasai see you tomorrow I wish I had my running shoes great area to jog Healthy. That's malangai, right? Yeah, malangai, spirulina. Mm. We are walking on the outdoor balconies of Mall of Asia. Here's the thing, three knows a friend who works with local weavers in Laguna to make pineapple fabric barongs. Uh, but I can't get one there now because I have no time. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna visit that in the future. In the meantime, I'm gonna head to Cultura because I know they have lots of barong. Yeah. And Threen is going to help me pick one. And you guys can judge as well. So we can <laughs> put some pressure on her. Let's go, yeah. barong chopping. Oh, pressure. Pressure. <laughs> okay, get ready for the most exciting part of the walk. Ready? Ba 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 ba. <laughs> Ba ba ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. You know that. Kaka ba ka ba. You know that. Ba ba also means this one. Yeah. Ba ba can mean chin. Ba ba can mean mouth. And ba 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 ba. Yeah. Ba ba. I didn't know that. Yeah. I think that might. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No. Confirm this. Ba 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 can mean going down. Yeah. Ba ba can mean chin, but ba ba I think can also mean mouth. No. Yeah, Baba. Ba. No, Baba is the huh? Anyways, Kaltura. Don't mind the undershirt, of course I get a white one, uh, but it's what I'll have right now. Yo, what's up? It's not a bad fit. This one's kind of super see-through though. It's a little bit puffy and see-through this one though. Yeah. I'll check the other one, but oh, a little bit puffy. All right, barong number two. I think this is like, is this like the traditional color, Deva? Wow. 
know what? This one might be okay. Um. What? This one might be okay. I'm hoping that three improves this because it feels super nice. Cavite beer? Cavite beer. We think that's Cavite beer because it says it's manufactured in Cardona. Carmona. Carmona. In Canto. And look at this. In my, my new favorite coffee from Silang Cavite. I got addicted to this coffee. Anyway, having fun in Cultura. Maybe Le Kang Mir Gondon will be in Cultura in the future. I'm claiming it. Claiming it. Go. Manifest. Oh, my oh. oh, what's up? Yeah. Speaking of which, hello, staff. Hi. <laughs> hello. 5 p.m. Pretty overcast. But in the distance, I can see a little bit, a little bit of sunny glow. I'm going to walk down to the actual bay. Not sure if I'll go to Moa, Mall of Asia area, or a different side. But I see if I can catch a sunset and honestly, I just want to get some more steps in so I put on my shoes I just want to get my body moving because I've been driving a lot uh, Beautiful thing about this area of Manila is there's big sidewalks And if you're not like right in front of Mala Asia, traffic isn't really that bad So you can kind of get out, get some exercise, go for a walk, go for a jog And that's exactly what I'm going to do right now, so let's rock it Hello, we're gonna have one. Remember, crosswalks don't mean that people are gonna stop. <laughs> Always remember that. And if you're a driver, stop at the crosswalks because it will make the walkers day. Okay, so there's this pathway here uh, by the back of Soler and I thought I could go down and check out the ocean but all the security guys are yelling at me saying it's not allowed. So I guess this might be private, I don't know. I just want to look at the boats. We'll see if I'm allowed or if the security guys get angry. I obviously won't film them but we're going to find out. So this here, hold up. So this here is private. Yeah. But obviously the ocean is the ocean. Yeah, okay, okay, I got it. So so I can't walk here because it's private, but the ocean is okay. So now we know you can't go past behind Soler. Sayang, it's like... There's like... Back at Kaninang Motor. Motor? Sino yan? Oh, Kanina, mag video. Mag motor. Motor? Oh, I saw. Kanina? Oh, see jogging. I can see jogging. Oh. Coast Guard Police! Oh, that's Coast Guard? Ah, okay, 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 okay. So that's Coast Guard, okay. Coast Guard Police! Dang! Sayang! Okay, final thoughts. Disclaimer here. If you're a super massive gazillionaire who owns all this, I'm not trying to call you out or anything or be disrespectful. I totally get it. Private property? Rock on. Uh, but man, I was thinking, dude, if you have a huge section of beautiful Baywalk, you open it to the public and you make it really nice and a lot of people are hanging out I bet they'd also go and be like intrigued to want to go check out your place and go in and spend money and stuff just a thought in my mind and it would be dope and I'm just sad I didn't get to see the boats in the evening I'm not going to make it back in time to the other side of Moa so that's why I'm going Vietnamese anyways please don't hate me super gazillionaires this isn't meant to be offensive or angry or anything it's just I thought in my mind so all right, Vietnamese food, let's go. The 
Let's go. Oh my god. Meet my staff. Yeah, the me. and Erica. Oh man. Back to back. The back to back fails. Yeah. I couldn't go behind Solaire in the bay and now the Vietnamese had no food. All they had was chicken rice tonight. Everything was sold out, so we'll figure something out. Stay positive. Silver lining, we go for a lovely walk again. Or we go to a KTV. Or we go to a KTV party. <laughs> now nah, we're going for food. We were gonna go to the food court, Double Dragon, but then we saw it. There's a huge lineup. Fail again. <laughs> Food court in the lung. Oh my gosh, are you serious? No way. Dude, it's actually closed. You have Ballet Sapuet, love. Oh my gosh. Ballet Sapuet. Even the food court's closed. This is getting hilarious. Really nice, though. This is a really cool. What do we do? <laughs> Well, oh, they're gonna do some work by benchmarking the bamboo. In the meantime, this is getting hilarious. All right, what do we do, love? Let's look again. The big statue will get us the success. Arabian Grill. It doesn't smell like aloe vera. It doesn't, but it tastes like well, the taste is they, different as well. They sell aloe vera drinks here at this Arabian Grill. Oh, and it's a little bit goopy, and I really like it. <laughs> it's got like little magic bits in it. <laughs> Usually, you gotta rub it on your skin to get rid of your sunburn, but maybe this will just help me internally. That is so colorful. <laughs> I don't think it's this is rice. I think this is play doh. <laughs> Rainbow rice. Yes. Um, it's the color of LGBT community. <laughs> Okay, I just want to give a shout out because nothing here is oily and greasy. Everything actually tastes very like healthy and good and solid. And these little beef wrap shawarma things are actually really nice. So it's just so hot, I can barely eat it. We're gonna eat. See you later. Excuse my clothing, but I did laundry because there's a laundry machine here, washer and dryer. I actually grew up in Canada doing my own laundry at the time, so not the classic couscous piga style, but using a machine. Uh, yeah, Threen's going with their staff. They're doing like a lock-in work thing where they do a bunch of work together and get locked in and, well, not locked in, but you know, together and then they stay somewhere. and. I just wanted to share with you guys something that's happened in my life recently, which is not recently, over the past years. I went to get ice cream and I just honestly choose ube, uh, the magic purple deliciousness. It's a root crop and in the Philippines you use it for all sorts of snacks and desserts. I basically will just choose it because I really love it and the taste is kind of in between a sweetness and a, what's the term for it? I don't know, potatoiness. Like, not potato is and tastes like potatoes, but just, it's not too sweet. It's just, you feel like there's a little bit of root crop. Hmm. I love ube. It makes me happy. Being here in Paso, 
been cool. Um, I know a lot of people sometimes are like, oh, it's a big city, it's Manila. But remember, Manila has so many different uh, aspects to it, so many different sides to it. Um, I lived in Crescent City for almost nine months and learned a lot about getting around here and the different sides. So, you know, Kuba has this like Brick Lane, funky area. Makati, BGC, super developed. Bernardo, Chinatown, a little bit of organized chaos, but lots of funky food and side streets. Uh, you know, down here, Pasai, super modern, but also, yeah. I don't know. I'm just eating new bread ice cream now. Good night. Mmm. Ube for the win.